So I want to show you how we use the tools when evaluating a stock like Apple. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in. And what I want to do is I want to log in and I want to get to an option chain. All right. I just want to put a chain up right now. So I'm actually going to go to chains and I'm going to immediately change this to AAPL over here on the on the uh, right hand side. Um, notice I have the percent to double selection displayed and I'm only interested right now in what is happening next week the May week one expiration so we're gonna update that I'm gonna leave that alone for a moment so um another area I want you to go into the Tom's tools is something called earnings ranker and to get to it you gotta to go to stocks stock rankers and come on down to earnings rankings you'll come up with the earnings ranker you did I I have displayed. Go ahead and change the stock symbol to AAPL. I want you to do a search on this. And what it's going to do is it's going to come back and it's going to tell us um, how Apple has done over its last several earnings reports. And so as you can see here, the number of earnings that we have currently in the system that we've been tracking is the last seven quarters. Now, um, this was on Friday, so it shows three days to, ex to next earnings, but that really, those three days start uh, on Friday, so we do know Monday is going to be earnings. Look at the last seven quarters. They were at above or equal to the estimate, so they're blowing out their quarters the last seven in a row. Chances are they're going to blow out the earnings report tomorrow, but the next thing I need to try to figure out is by how much and what has happened in the past, both before and after earnings. So the next area I want you to go to is the Earnings Effects tab. To get to Earnings Effects, you're going to go to Stocks. You're going to go over to Stock Analysis, and I want you to come down to Earnings Effects. You will get this piece. This page will be displayed. Now, again, we're going to change this to Apple. And what I want to do here is I want to look at the last four earnings on price. So if I click on price, best change before. Let's start with before four earnings. So what has the stock been doing up to the earnings, the, the couple of days up until earnings? So you can see here that the best median percent change is that it's it's moving an average of one and just a little less than one and a quarter percent going into the earnings report. See the most recent, we had a three percent move up before earnings, a one percent up move before earnings a quarter ago, uh, two quarters ago, or th sorry, three quarters ago, minus 1%, and four quarters ago, 2%. All right? So we see that. Um, by the way, that two was first quarter of last year. So they're, even their first quarters after Christmas and the holiday season seem to be uh, pretty well done. Um, you'll see over here, it just shows you next, uh, you know, previous uh, days since earnings, next days to earnings, et cetera. But I'm really interested in what did it do before earnings? And then what did it do after earnings? So now I want to go ahead and click on price change after four earnings. Let's search once again. <clears throat> and you'll see that after earnings, Apple has gone up an average of 3.34%. Last quarter, it went up 8%. The quarter before that, 3 The quarter before that, 3 And the quarter before that, 9 All right. So we see that um, even the first quarter, of, uh, of the year tends to be a stronger quarter, at least in terms of stock movement for Apple. And so that's good to know too. All right. So if we just take, uh, take last year, we're seeing a 9% increase. But if we factor everything in, it's about three and a third. All right. Three and a third percent move after the earnings, uh, earnings report comes out. Finally, oh, now how can we take advantage of this information? Well, if these are positive numbers, we can come over here and we can look at a couple of different things on our option tabs. So if I go to May week one and I go ahead and update Apple and I can see all the different strikes that we have here. <clears throat> well, we're at 130.28 on the close. So that's close to 130. So the 130 calls right now are trading mid price at around 373. Right, so it's going to cost us three dollars and seventy-three cents if we want to take a position on Apple. Uh, if if everything remains the same prior to earnings, now what we could do is we could 
make that look a little bit smaller by doing a, a debit spread. We could sell some put spreads, you know, do a Rob Peter to pay Paul trade, well, which I discussed uh, how to do that in last week's Outlook. Maybe we'll come in and we could say, all right, what if we sold the 128 put, bought the 126 put for protection and took that 70 cents um, you know, maybe did two of those for every one of maybe the 134s for a buck 88. We could actually put that trade together for, you know, very little money. But all we're trying to do is create some sort of synthetic bullish position that has a, a lower uh, risk than just outright uh, gambling, if you want to call it that, because that's what I would call it. By gambling, I mean by just buying the call option openly and putting all that time premium out there to risk. Okay. Now, for those of you who want to take a delta neutral approach, uh, let me show you one more thing. And not all of you that have this video or have this is the advanced buttons that we have here with our partner program. Now, I'm going to be doing a partner program myself later this summer, so you will have the chance uh, to possibly be one of the folks along with my 2014 partners that already have access to these advanced settings. Now, the 24-hour earnings setting is what I'm talking about. And so I, was, I just want to show you real quick, if we use Apple, for instance, and I'm just going to use the default that we have here and search on it, what I want to show you is that by creating what I call the 24-hour earnings condor, um, the, 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 based on our rules, the software has picked something out that is, oh, wow, eight points above and eight points below the current stock price, right? Seven and a half points. Seven and a half points above, seven and a half points below. And it's created this earnings condor that if all prices remain the same, then we're talking about a trade that uh, that would this particular trade would end up bringing in for one contract $36, all right, which would give us a maximum reward of $36, but a, minimum, a maximum risk of 64 Now, this is interesting right over here, all right? This is our winning percent. Looking at the last three quarters... We have two out of three, based on the rules that we look at, based on this particular technique, two out of the last three times this has actually worked. And then I know that because down here I have all the back test. All right, I have the back test which shows, in this case, uh, th this particular trade had a, um, had a profit, all right, the one that, that happened back on the 27th of January. Then we had an earnings quarter that came out uh, on uh, in October. That was also profitable. But we did have one that came out in April that ended up being a loss. All right. So this particular strategy, uh, and we find strategies in here where we've seen a 100% return. It's only showing about a 67% uh, win percentage based on the last three quarters looking at, uh, at, at Apple in terms of a delta neutral type position. All right, so I want to show you a couple of different things that I'm looking at as we're going into Apple's earnings. Again, to find all this stuff, all right, if you're, if you're a member of our tools, then you can, A, you can look at the stock and option tables, and you can actually create something that, will look, that gives you a percent to double right here in this category. And we know that in order for our 130 calls to double in value, I need a 5.5% move in Apple, all right? But... How do I know what it's done in the past? I can look at earnings rankings, and I can see how did the earnings uh, come out, and what's the rank on, uh, did, it, did it meet or beat its estimate? Did it come below its estimate? In this case, it beat it seven out of the last seven quarters. And then how did that affect the stock price, both before earnings and after earnings? And so we have all of these tools at our disposal. That if you're members, you have the ability to do this. If you're a partner, if you're part of the partner program, uh, or you're going to be part of the partner program later in the year, you're going to have access to this button, the 24-hour earnings button, to look at this and other stocks in a delta-neutral format, as well as all these other things that uh, we're going to be getting into later on during the summer. All right, triple threat, I spy, uh, velocity, bulls and bears, and much, much more. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you a quick little special report, some things I'm looking at, uh, questions, comments, you know where to find me, support at TomGentile.com.